Today we're going to go through how to do a butterfly. This transition is going to be going from an apprentice to a butterfly. Um, I consider this to be one of the prerequisites for working on your handspring because it teaches you the proper stack of your bottom arm. Um, I think that it's a good way to build the strength for your handspring and the body awareness for where everything should be. Okay, so we're going to start with the apprentice. For the apprentice, my outside hand is going to be about face height. Okay, my inside hand is going to be arm down with the elbow either completely straight or mostly straight. Okay, I prefer the finger down. I like that because it puts the wrist in alignment. I feel like it's better to keep it nice and stacked and in proper alignment, less likely to injure the wrist. Some people prefer the, all the fingers wrapped. To me personally, I find that tends to make the wrist roll a little bit more, but personal preference. Okay, some people don't like having that finger down. So that one's up to you. Okay, so my inside hand is down, finger down, outside hand face height. My inside leg is going to come up to about parallel or above. I don't want it to drop down. I want to think about squeezing this knee to my chest so that when I tip into my apprentice, I'm holding the pole with that hip. Okay. Here's my apprentice. Knees can be bent. Knees can be straight. When I go to the apprentice, if I start with my body on one side, I end up tipping so that my chest ends up on the other side. So this top or outside hand is pulling across. I'm not pulling down. I'm pulling across. Okay, so you want to end up with your butt on one side, your boobs on the other. Okay, so from the apprentice, that inside leg is very important. I want to think about squeezing this knee to my chest almost like I'm using it like a lobster claw or a hand to squeeze my knee in. That way, when I start focusing on this outside leg to take the transition to the butterfly, this inside leg is helping support my body weight so it's not all in my arms. Okay, if you're struggling, you feel like you keep sliding down, chances are that inside leg is releasing its grip. So really think about squeezing and engaging those hip flexors. So... From the, the uh, apprentice, inside hand down, outside hand face height, knee parallel or above, bring it to your chest. I'm going to tip. Once you're solid in your apprentice and you're able to hold this comfortably, the outside foot can come up above the hand. I'm hooking my ankle or my heel to the pole. Once that hooks, I'm going to slide my bottom hand, taking it up. I'm pushing out of my bottom shoulder, and I want to think about looking right at the pole. Not out, but right at the pole. Okay? To come out, bring that hip back in, hook, and you can bring it down, okay? So I'm gonna show it to you from another angle. When I go into the butterfly, you wanna think about bringing your bicep to your ear as much as possible, and you wanna think about trying to have this in as straight as a line as possible so you're nice and stacked. If your arm's out here, a lot of pressure is gonna be on your shoulder and you're more likely to be sliding down the pole or possibly fall out of the move. If I'm stacked, I'm gonna be able to hold and maintain that position a lot longer. It's the same idea as if I'm standing up straight, I can stand for hours. If I try and stand like this, it's gonna be very difficult, okay? So going to the apprentice again from another angle, inside hand is down, outside hand across about face level, into my apprentice, hook that ankle, slide the hand, looking right at the pole, nice and stacked over my bottom shoulder. Okay, then you're gonna bring that outside leg back in, hook it to the knee, bent or straight, and bringing it down. And that is the Apprentice to Butterfly.